It's pretty easy to review the films of a director you love. Oliver Stone and Christopher Nolan are both brilliant filmmakers who have made classics. Sure, they've stumbled on occasion, but they're still acknowledged by most people as great filmmakers. So for my next Films of series, I'm going to pick someone who doesn't necessarily have that luxury. Someone who it'll be more difficult to talk about. This is a director whose films I've watched for years, but who has never achieved the success of the first two directors I talked about. His films are a highly varied collection of good, bad, or just forgettable. This director is John Irvin. John Irvin is an English filmmaker who was born in 1940. Irvin's career started in the 60s when he helped make documentary footage of the Vietnam War. He switched over to documentary shorts and TV movies, and from there he moved up to the miniseries adaptation of Tinker Tailor Soldier's Spy. Not to be confused with the movie, of course. The miniseries is well-remembered, and because it was good, it also launched Irvin's career. From here, he started making feature films, and they seemed to either try to be Hollywood flicks, or they embraced the European art house cinema style. I'll be looking at these feature films whenever I can, because frankly, it's difficult to find some of these films. I'm aware that he's not a very well-known filmmaker, nor has he made that many well-received films. But frankly, I've been a tentative fan of his during the years, so it seems fair to scrutiny his films for whatever good or bad qualities he has. And because he's made so many different movies, that's part of the challenge on my part. So stay tuned for my next video, which will be a review of John Irvin's first feature film, The Dogs of War.